The clock is ticking down to the end of the NHL's Adidas era. After this season, a year of change lies ahead as the league transitions fully to Fanatics as the official outfitter of on-ice NHL jerseys. So how is the 24-25 season shaping up? It's still early, and to this point, details have been sparse. But that is about to change. Plans are being put in place, and critically, retailers are being notified about what's coming next fall. And my sources are bringing new details to the table. So let's start breaking it all down, right now, as Aesthetics presents NHL Jersey Watch 2024 Fanatics First Look. We're approaching the one-year anniversary of the announcement that Fanatics will take over from Adidas to design and manufacture game jerseys for all 32 NHL clubs. It's a big change, as these rights have basically been under the same corporate control for decades. And naturally, a change like this has many hockey fans feeling anxious, raising questions of quality, particularly in the wake of the widely reported issues surrounding the new Nike-designed MLB uniforms. Without spending a lot of time on a sport I don't follow, will suffice to say that while Fanatics is being saddled with much of the blame, the truth should give hockey fans a little hope. As reported by the foremost expert on baseball uniforms, Paul Lucas of UniWatch, this particular scandal falls squarely on Nike's shoulders. As I understand it, Fanatics has been making MLB jerseys for Nike in the same factory since 2020, and all that changed this year was Nike executing a redesign of their own templates. From there, Fanatics handles the factory production as they always have. So say what you will about Fanatics, and I know there's a lot to say given their track record at the retail level, but I looked into all of this because I wanted to know if it was a sign of things to come for the NHL. Will hockey fall victim to similar problems? And what I found are two bits of good news. Number one, with this new deal, there is no middleman. No confusion about who's accountable. Whether it's smooth sailing or rough seas, it is 100% fanatics to answer for it. Which leads to number two. The firestorm over poorly designed baseball jerseys could not have come at a better time for hockey fans. I know, sounds weird to say that, right? But fanatics will not want to live through another PR disaster like this ever again. Meaning they'd be crazy not to put an intense focus on delivering the highest quality products for the NHL. Any slips on this transition could potentially damage their brand beyond repair, so the stakes could not be higher. And knowing that, fanatics will have to bring their best work. At least that's my hope. Being an optimistic person by nature, I'm trying to go into next season with a positive outlook. I'm encouraged by the fact that Fanatics has been putting a talented creative team in place, blending trusted jersey design veterans from the Adidas and Reebok years, the likes of Eric Bottomer and Dom Fillion, along with fresh new voices. You can't ask for much more than that. And while it's too soon to know exactly what that group has up their sleeves, we can start to see the shape of next season. In fact, at least one fan has tried to offer a glimpse into the future with this customization, an unofficial preview of what's to come when Fanatics officially begins to rebrand NHL jerseys this summer. But before that, we usually get a sneak peek. Every spring, Adidas and Reebok before them would notify retailers about their upcoming fall jersey offerings in a catalog to help stores plan their orders for the new season. The contents of these catalogs have often served as the basis for my Jersey Watch reports. It's one of the ways that I learn about impending changes to NHL jerseys ahead of any official pronouncements. Recently, Fanatics sent out their fall catalog to retailers, and with it, an aesthetic source has provided some insights into 2425, which means I do have some new details to share, including a preview of the first ever Fanatics designed NHL sweater, a new template for practice jerseys. Now I know, practice jerseys, that doesn't sound like much to get excited about, but stick with me and you'll see what it might mean for game jerseys going forward. Unfortunately, I don't have any images that I'm able to share in this video, which makes it tough to make a video, but I will talk you through some of those new elements. For one thing, the three stripes up the sides are gone. Obvious, given that that is Adidas's pattern. And the Fanatics F logo will appear on the chest in place of the Adidas mark. Another change is around the shoulders. What was shown to me was not a physical jersey, but rather a graphic rendering. So I can't say for sure if the dimpled pattern from Adidas will be there, but I suspect not. The lines are more sculpted, rounded, with a new neckline construction and more of a zigzag stitch. It even changes the shape of the NHL shield container as well, no longer this pentagon design. 
and around the shoulders are elements that remind me of Nike's hockey jersey template, an eye shape similar to what you see here on the Team Canada Olympic jerseys. The biggest change, though, is the crest treatment. As a reminder, this is what we got from Adidas, a simple roundel with the team's logo inside and name wrapped around the circle. The fun detail for me was that each team had their own custom font for the text. Under Fanatics, things are changing. There's a new roundel that takes a bit of inspiration from the old CCM practice jerseys. Personally, I like this little nod to the past. And instead of center ice, like you see here, the new text reads property of on top with the team's city beneath. It all looks a little something like this. But this is just my own rendering based on what I saw. From there, I did a little digging and learned about a crucial new detail. Adidas used a heat press application for their practice jerseys, giving the crest that shiny finish. I'm told Fanatics will go a step beyond this, deploying fully embroidered, sewn-on crests. I know it sounds like a minor thing, but to me, it is a sign that Fanatics recognizes that cutting corners on quality will not win over many hockey fans. It's a small detail that fuels my optimism. Having said that, it's too soon to know whether any of these new design elements will appear on any future Fanatics game jerseys. And on that note, let's talk about game jerseys for next season. Not much is changing on the manufacturing front. Fanatics is taking over existing factory operations that were in use by Adidas. And not just Adidas. The SP Apparel Factory, just outside Montreal, has been making NHL jerseys for almost 50 years and will continue to do so under Fanatics. So, as I said before, there's no reason to expect a drop in production quality of game jerseys. But if there is, we do know where the responsibility lies. In looking back, the Reebok and Adidas NHL launches came with fresh jersey templates and new materials, but those had long lead-ups behind the scenes. It's about an 18-24 to 24 month process to develop a new NHL jersey template, invent next-gen custom fabrics, and then put it all into mass production. Reebok started their process after signing a league-wide NHL deal in 2005. The Reebok Edge uniform system premiered at the 2007 All-Star Game in Dallas and then launched across the NHL at the start of the 07-08 season. For Adidas, the deal was announced in September 2015, and we got our first look at the Adi Zero template during the World Cup of Hockey in the fall of 2016. It then went into league-wide use the following year for the 2017-18 season. ESPN has reported that Fanatics will likely launch their next-gen hockey uniform for the 26-27 season. That timeline tracks. So when could we see the first Fanatics design game jerseys? Well, the next big opportunity could be the Four Nations Face-Off in early 2025. This is a new international event being put on by the NHL that's similar to but smaller than the World Cup of Hockey. But would that be too soon to see a new template? If they got started right now or were already underway, maybe not. They would only have to handle designs for four teams. Canada, the US, Sweden, and Finland are taking part. And if they do it right, they would only need to make four contrasting jerseys, rather than dark and light designs for each team, which would require manufacturing eight jerseys in total. We've seen the four-jersey system work for the NHL All-Star Game, so it is possible for Four Nations Face-Off, which, by the way, is effectively replacing the All-Star Game next year. Just offhand, I would think red for Canada, blue for the US, yellow for Sweden, and white for Finland. In theory, they could simply borrow these Adidas-made designs from the 2016 World Cup, but I can't see Fanatics passing up the opportunity to showcase their own brand on a big international stage. However, if that is too soon to roll out a new Fanatics template, another opportunity would certainly present itself at the recently announced 2026 NHL All-Star Game being hosted by the New York Islanders. We could get the Fanatics launch there, just like we saw with the 2007 All-Star Game for Reebok Edge. It would then be implemented league-wide the following season for Fall of 26. All that being said, the word I'm getting is that Fanatics is not actively looking to reinvent the wheel. Hockey sweaters are in a good place right now. They look good and perform well for the players. Fanatics may only be looking to make minor improvements or tweaks here and there. And that's the sort of thing we could see as early as this fall. But it's just too soon to know for sure. I will say, however, that there is some precedent for an expedited timeline. In my NHL prototype series, I showed what was intended to be the first use of Reebok Edge for the 2006 All-Star Game, which was cancelled so that NHL players could participate in the Winter Olympics that year. 
If that event had not been cancelled, we likely might have seen Reebok Edge arrive a year sooner. So while I don't know where Fanatics is in the development of their new hockey uniforms, history does give us some indication of how the timing could play out. But that is mostly speculation at this point. In this last section of the video, I want to drill down into the team level. What changes are we expecting there? To be honest, not much. It's been reported that Fanatics asked teams to hold off on making any significant changes for next fall while they ramp up their new operations. All I can really say for sure is what we already know. For example, the Boston Bruins Centennial look, specially designed home road and alternate uniforms, were intended only for this season. I expect they will revert to their prior jerseys in the fall. Similar story in Anaheim with the Ducks alternate jersey, the plum and jade will go back into the Disney vault, as it were, since that uniform was released specifically for this season only, just like their black 25th anniversary design five years ago. Will the orange Mighty Ducks jersey come back, or will they go without a third jersey? Despite some speculation to the contrary, third jerseys will remain in use next season. The Tampa Bay Lightning confirmed to me directly that their new black sweater will be worn through at least 2026. When it comes to new designs, all I can really point to right now are the outdoor events, the Winter Classic, and Stadium Series. The NHL has always put teams in special uniforms for these games, and I can't imagine them breaking that trend given the revenue opportunities. In case you missed the announcements, the 2025 NHL Winter Classic is basically a replay. Wrigley Field will host for the second time with the Chicago Blackhawks and St. Louis Blues in a rematch of the 2017 Winter Classic at Busch Stadium. The 2025 Stadium Series heads to Ohio Stadium, where the Columbus Blue Jackets will host, playing in their first-ever outdoor game. Their opponent will be the Detroit Red Wings, meaning 2025 will be a big year for outdoor hockey in the Midwest. Fanatics is probably just getting started on the design process with these teams, but I do have another video in the works with some fun predictions. And that is where we stand today with NHL Jersey Watch 2024. Of course, this is not the final word on next season, it's only a first look. I'll be back with more updates before you know it. Before I go, I just want to say a big thank you to the members of the Aesthetics channel with a special stick tap to the icons. Your support is hugely appreciated. And thanks for watching. Be sure to subscribe to the Aesthetics channel if you haven't yet and set up notifications so you don't miss out on any future Jersey Watch updates. That's all for now. See you next time.